then uh, I'm stuck at the bus stop. The bus is not coming. And you are passing by and you saw, hey, somebody standing there shaking. You went one man, no. Some day, some time ago, I used to be like this. Why don't I reverse and go what? Give that person what? A right. What about when I saw your breakthrough, I cursed it. The little did I know that, that which came to you was going to be a blessing that is going to build me out of a freezing world rain one day from the bus stop. Did you hear what I said? I said, did you hear what I said? So it is very important, child of God, you don't allow somebody's success make you sad. Amen. It is so sad today in the world that we live in. People just, I mean, you only saw the breakthrough. But you didn't see their hard labor and the pain they went through before finally God brought them to what? That place. You only saw the glory. But you didn't see their silent times. Amen. Amen. Very important, child of God, that you must con conclude and know and settle it in yourself that my glory is different from what? Yours. And your glory, therefore, is not meant to threaten me. But it is meant to become my resource. Can somebody shout hallelujah here? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 So even if you see somebody wearing a tie or wearing a suit, some people, all that they will talk. Talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. But whether you wore the suit or not, the company is still manufacturing what? The suit. And when you go to the showcase, the store is hanging. How many of you passed down Tanshak? The store, it is hanging out there. Whether somebody buys it or not, the company is still what? Producing them. But you never, you never came from downtown and uh, called your friend on the phone. Hey, I was on the uh, downtown today and I saw in the store some coat. Hey, this store, they have coat, oh, they have this, they have that, they have that, they have that. <laughs> ah, that is not good. That store, that store. You, you don't talk about it. But the day Mr. Emisa Save all his pennies. And I said, today, ah, as for this time, I also will treat myself. I'm a person. <laughs> then he goes and buy the suit. And the first day he wore it, even he started from uh, his house. Get out from his house. Then his neighbor, <laughs> then he picked the phone. Come and see this guy today. <laughs> Look at the suit he's wearing. But there's still 999 still left at the shack. How can't you just you want but you see your neighbor? What about if he, your neighbor is coming out, his jeans is here on his butt here, and his hat is there, and all his clothes are look like a gang gang leader. Is that the person you want in your neighborhood? <laughs> huh? Is that the person you want in your neighborhood? But when a person step out, he appears that he's, the, he's, he's in the front cover of the Time magazine. Wouldn't you like it that to have such people in my world? At least they won't break through my world. <laughs> Amen. But what I'm trying to say is, why should somebody uprising make you sad? My friend, you can be sad as you want. But you see, I'm not going to frustrate myself because of your sadness. Right. Eh? Yep. If you are sad because you have not eaten, then I will, I, will, I will come to your aid. If I have the means. But sad because your neighbor is breaking through. Your neighbor is seeing some success in their life. My friend, you are allowing me to use it. You are a sick person. To get sad because of somebody's word, success. success. Amen. You will die before your time. Anytime you got breakthrough, you got sad. 
The next day, sister got sad. Anytime you got sad, you shorten your lifespan by what? Three hours. Mm. Then, she got breakthrough. You are sad. Six hours of your life is gone. Then what about one million people every day they are getting what? Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Now, you have maybe 60 years to live. Just by the fact that being sad of people's uprising, you have shortened what? Your life by 30 years. Is it a smart move? Ask your neighbor, is it a smart move? I say, ask your neighbor, is it a smart move? So, a child of the living God, don't do that. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now, go with me to First Chronicles chapter number 4. First Chronicles chapter number 4. First Chronicles chapter number 4. Glory to God. I want to take my time to expound to you that our glory is different and uh, it is the season for us to uncover our glory, our significance, our strength. We are not supposed to be caught inside the box. We are supposed to be outside world, the box and be all that God wants us to be. But in our attempting to become all that God wants us to be, friend, please, I plead with you for goodness sake that don't let us destroy one another in our attempt to become what? Our dreams. Amen. God wants us to become what? Our dreams. He's had, he has released us into that season. But he doesn't intend that my rising up and your rising up should be the reason why we be at loggerheads with one another. Should not be the reason why you become my world enemy. Should not be the reason why I act hostile to you. Should not be the reason why when I see you coming this way, my stomach can't stand you. Because why? You appear that now, instead I'm seeing you as my resource, I'm seeing you as my competitor. That is devilish. Are you following me? Amen. I said that is what? Devilish. devilish. God ordained that I need you and you also what? Need me. Are you with me somebody? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Now, in Chronicles chapter 4, we are seeing something about a man called Jabez. Say Jabez. 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 Hallelujah. Let's look a little bit about this guy called Jabez. In uh, 1 Chronicles chapter number 4, verse 9 and 10. The Bible says, go, Now, Jabez was more honorable than what? Don't you realize that right there he will attract enemies? Yeah. Right there he will what? Because why? It's more what? Honorable. It's more what? Honorable. No. If your brother is more honorable than you, does it make him, render him an enemy to you? Rather, you should be happy. Because if your brother is a football player, that means that all the games, if the ticket cost 500, you get it for what? For free. You can get front seat. Hello? Because why? Your brother is more honorable world than you. You'll be surprised. I've met people as a pastor. I've met people that were by even sisters. When you meet one sister, oh, how is your sister doing? Oh, that sister of mine. Leave her alone. The moment you start that, that, that I know you are jealous. 